Good afternoon and welcome to the video. So, Friday yet again. Seems to come around even quicker every week, even though obviously that's not possible. Feels so good to be Friday. Um, the only devastating thing this week for me was that Thursday, which is always a rest day, um, was a benchmark workout that I didn't manage to do. The benchmark workout was gonna, uh, and it just sounds like loads and loads of fun. Um, so, on that note, a couple of us had some conversations in the gym. Um, obviously, people who do the same thing, they don't uh, work out on a Thursday. And n on Monday, it's bank holiday. So we're hoping to, for, to get together and all do it, you know, and get it done. Um, I'm absolutely, I'm devastated. I am. I, like People have already done it, so it gives me something to work towards, you know, it gives me an idea of what times um, to be looking at. But um, I, I did want to do it yesterday, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, I know what would have happened. I would have come in, I would have done it, and I'd have just destroyed myself for the next couple of days. So it was a good thing. Keep the rest day uh, and do it on Monday. So today, what have we got today? Um, interesting one today for you. And it is uh, three rounds for time of 10 overhead, no, 10, 10 dumbbell power snatch and ten, then 10 dumbbell overhead squats, and then 10 L-sit pull-ups, so L pull-ups. Now, I have no idea if that's going to be able, if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, oh, sorry, and that's on your left arm, and then you do the same on the right arm, other than the pull-ups, and then you do pull-ups again. I'll tell you what, I'll just put it in now. See, that, that looks, that's easier to understand than me jabbering on in it. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, it's, um, I'm not sure about the uh, LSIT pull, LSIT pull-ups. Obviously, that's that's going to be quite taxing for me. I'm not really there with that, I don't think. But I'll try to do the, uh, just do them strict. Um, the 10 pull-ups strict, break them into sets that are manageable. At the same time, I do want to give that a go. Uh, so, I will uh, see what happens. I might be able to do a few of those and then finish out with strict pull-ups, you know. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though, you know. You can only do what you can do. So, I'll uh, get into the gym and let's get on with the footage. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet
Ah, so, workout's done. Um, what to say about it? Well, uh, the power snatch felt, um, the dumbbell power snatch felt really, really good. Uh, I went with two different weights, so as you saw from the footage there, I went with 15 kilos on the uh, snatch and 10 kilos on the overhead squat. Uh, main reason being is from earlier in the week, the uh, my ankle flexion doesn't feel great. So when I was in the bottom of the squat, I was sort of like, I wasn't driving through my heel. It was more like, too far forward so I was coming forward a little bit when I was warming up so um, I didn't I didn't want to over you know exaggerate that I, and that's not really the right word uh, what kind of what word? well basically I didn't want to put myself in the wrong position um, so uh, I tried to like stretch it out but it just wasn't having it so uh, I kept the uh, weight a little bit lighter than what I wanted to just to make sure that I was getting the most out of the movement rather than going too heavy and then my arm would be wobbling all over the place and I'm putting my shoulders in a dangerous position where, as we all know, I've not got the best shoulders. Um, so yeah, kept it uh, simple, uh, effective. I tried to do the uh, L pull-ups, I did a few of those as you saw, but then um, like my, it's like my midline just sort of gives up on me. It's like it's not like, oh, that's painful. It just gives up. <laughs> it just completely just goes. So it's something I need to work on. But, you know, like I said, it is a new movement for me, really. So I'm glad I got a couple of reps in there. And then doing the pull-ups, uh, they, felt, they felt great, you know, breaking those up again. The power there with the other mo movements was sort of tiring. But uh, I came in at 13 minutes, 16 seconds on the workout. So I'm happy with that. 
Um, yeah, so it's it, movements that you don't really get to try all the time, and it was nice to put them together and uh, get the most out of it. So, yeah, fantastic. So um, that's it from me, really, on this one. There's not really much more to say. We're going into the partner workout tomorrow, so that should be the next video that you see. So make sure you check that one out. Um, with this one, as always, if you think someone would benefit from the video, please share the video. Any comments or questions, put them below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, oh, considering us uh, talking about subscribing, we've hit 50 subscribers. So um, obviously on the grand scale of YouTube, that's um, neither here nor there. But to me, I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I'm glad that uh, people are finding the content interesting, hopefully benefiting from the content. So yeah, um, like I say, if we, you know, the bigger the channel grows, the better for me. Um, it just means I'm helping more people. Um, realize their goals or you know inspiring them in any way it's 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 a really nice feeling so uh, thank you very much for that and uh, i look forward to it getting to 100 um, hopefully very soon um but yeah as i said what was i up to anyway doesn't matter i'll stop rambling if you're not subscribed consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one take care